Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Piyush and I am a solutions architect aligned with the financial services industry. This is a series of lightning talk on ECS and Fargate with the objective of making you all familiar with ECS, which is a fully managed container orchestration service. Today we'll talk about ECS integration with AWS Core Pipeline. Just to level set, Continuous integration is a software process in which developers regularly push their code into a central repository such as AWS Code Commit or GitHub. Every code push invokes an automated build followed by running of tests. Continuous delivery, on the other hand, is based on the fact that there is always a stable production ready main line of the code and deployment can take place anytime from that main line. Continuous delivery can be fully automated or have approval stages at critical points. This ensures that all required approvals prior to the deployment, such as release management approvals, are in place. The benefits of continuous integration and continuous delivery is that application code can be delivered faster to production by automating the software supply chain. This produces secure code of better quality, provides faster feedback, and results in a faster time to market of the product. Next, uh, I would like to go over Core Pipeline in the context of Amazon ECS. AWS Core Pipeline is a fully managed continuous delivery service that helps you automate your release pipeline for fast and reliable application as well as infrastructure updates. Core Pipeline is composed of series of stages and those stages are composed of series of actions. Those actions are tasks that perform the build, the deploy, the test and the release process. Starting with the source stage wherein we can use AWS Code Commit which is a fully managed source control repository for hosting Git repositories. You have the flexibility to use third-party repositories such as Bitbucket Cloud, GitHub or GitLab as the source for your code. Next is the build stage wherein you can use Amazon Native AWS Code Build to create ready to deploy artifacts which are housed inside Amazon Elastic Container Registry, ECR. And finally, in the deploy stage, AWS Code Deploy would take image artifact from Amazon ECR, which was built earlier by AWS Code Build and deploy the image onto the ECS cluster. Let us next take a look at the pipeline in action. I have a web application deployed on Amazon ECS, which randomly displays a pet picture when clicked upon. Let us change the text on the displayed picture and push that change to the AWS code commit repository. The modified source code push would invoke the code pipeline workflow, wherein AWS code build would build a new container image and deploy the image automatically to Amazon ECS. After a few minutes, the code pipeline execution status shows succeeded and you can now see the new version of the application. So if I click on the pet image, the pet label got updated with the changes we pushed. Next, let us uh, see the inner workings of the pipeline and uh, double click into the code build portion and let's review the build specification file. Build specification contains a set of build instructions that AWS Code Build uses to perform your build. Build specification has a set of life cycle phases which executes zero or more commands. As you can see, in the pre-build phase, 
you authenticate to the Amazon ECR registry. Subsequently, in the build stage, you build the Docker image from a Docker file and then tag the image. Finally, during the post build phase, you would push the tagged Docker image to the Amazon ECR registry and produce a build output artifact. That concludes today's talk about Amazon ECS integration with AWS Core Pipeline. We'll see you next time.